Dayton City Commissioner Matt Joseph led a ceremony to rededicate the Salem Avenue Bridge as the Ambassador Richard Holbrook Memorial Bridge. In honor of the American ambassador who negotiated the 1995 peace agreement that ended the war in Bosnia. Ambassador Holbrook passed away in December of 2010. Um, we're here today to honor Ambassador Richard Holbrook with a permanent tribute to his work throughout the world. Uh, there have been many books written and there will be many more about his contributions that, that have been made. But for us in Dayton, because it retains, he retains a special meaning and his work here retains special meaning for us and our colleagues and friends in Bosnia, we wanted to do something special. So we decided to make a, a permanent recognition of a busy bridge in downtown to be renamed the Ambassador Richard Holbrook Bridge. While we are standing here on this cold uh, uh, November day, every one of us must be figuring how it must have been for a group of people gathering in this city for a special task. For in total 21 uh, 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 November days 16 years ago. That group was trying to end the terrible war in our country, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and that group was led by Ambassador Richard Holbrook. After more than three and a half years of the destructive war and about 100,000 killed, as well as after four failed international peace plans, Ambassador Holbrook and his team succeeded to negotiate basic principles for peace in Bosnia and Herzegovina. On their success, the fate of millions depended. After three exhausting weeks, the day of proclamation of their success and of the initialing the Dayton Peace Accord, Tuesday, uh, November 21st, 1995, is probably the happiest day in the whole history of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The Dayton Peace Accord, uh, negotiated by an American diplomatic team led by Ambassador Richard Holbrook, proved itself as a most successful peace arrangement in the modern history of the world, if not in the history as a whole. After 16 years, we are more than aware of that. The name of Richard Holbrook and his peace success will always live in our country. His name and the name of the city of Dayton, Ohio, will always be connected with Bosnia and Herzegovina. The renaming of this bridge is a vivid memory of that. It is uh, such an honor for me to be with you today on this uh, fantastic tribute to Richard. I, I, history was made here, and Dayton is, is forever linked with the peace that was crafted by Richard in the Balkans, in Bosnia. Um, I cannot think of a more fitting tribute to my husband than, than this bridge. Richard was a bridge builder. Richard's brand of diplomacy was one human being at a time. And he is, he is now permanently enshrined and his legacy permanently enshrined and, and linked to your wonderful town of Dayton. I am, I am too emotionally overwhelmed, frankly, to, to speak at, at, at much length about, about Richard's work or his legacy, but I just want to thank each and every one of you for keeping him alive and in your heart. Every one of you should feel proud to be a Daytonian because Dayton played its part for history as much as Versailles played its part in ending World War I. You played a very important role in ending the bloodiest and most violent conflict in the post-war world. And for that, I thank you from the bottom of, your heart, of my heart, for your heart, for the, for the great warmth with which you treated Richard while he was alive, and now for inaugurating this most fitting tribute that I can imagine in honor of my husband. Thank you very much.